Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Well, today I'm going to teach you about type 1 error and type 2 error. So both of these are a part of the process of hypothesis testing. Okay, so this is easy, nothing tough. So let's start the class now. Type 1 error and type 2 error. So this will be short and easy, so do not panic. Plus I'll teach you a very simple memory trick. Okay, so just just relax. <laughs> okay, so uh, well, it's a very important portion of the syllabus because it's asked almost every year. So based on this observation, two marks guaranteed for sure. Okay, so let's begin. All right, we have type 1 error. So what is type 1 error? It is the incorrect rejection of a true null hypothesis. Well, this situation is not exactly ideal, is it? When a researcher commits an error of rejecting a null hypothesis, when it is actually true, then that is type 1 error. Okay, you assumed, you, you wrongly assumed that that null hypothesis was not true, when in reality, it actually is true. Okay, so type 1 error is is when you reject a null hypothesis when it is actually true. It is also known as false positive. The probability of committing type 1 error is called the level of significance, which is represented by alpha. Type 2 error. So just like type 1 error, type 2 error is also another wrong decision taken by uh, the researcher and what is that decision what is that wrong decision uh, the incorrect acceptance or non-rejection of a false null hypothesis that is when a researcher accepts or fails to reject a null hypothesis which is actually false so you as a researcher wrongly assumed that that null hypothesis was true when in reality it actually is false so this situation is not ideal either the mistake of accepting or failing to reject a null hypothesis which is false okay in an ideal situation, when the hypothesis, when the null hypothesis is false, you want to reject it, right? That is our aim. We want to reject the null hypothesis, right? Especially when it is false. We want to reject a null hypothesis which is false. But type 2 error is the mistake of not carrying out that exact task. It is also known as false negative. The probability of committing type 2 error is represented by beta. So this is a very important table, okay? Uh, I'll teach you the memory trick here, okay? I'll, it's a simple mnemonic. Uh, when you reject a true null hypothesis, then it is type 1 error. However, if you reject a false null hypothesis, then you have made the correct decision, which is what we want. We want to reject false null hypothesis, but we do not want to reject a null hypothesis, which is true. Then you have committed type 1 error. Okay. Second, when you accept or fail to reject a true null hypothesis. Okay, I'll uh, erase this. It's very confusing. Um, yeah, so when you accept or fail to reject a true null hypothesis, then it's an ideal situation. You have made the correct decision. Congratulations. However, if you accept or fail to reject a false null hypothesis, then you have committed type 2 error. Okay? Now, the mnemonic is, it's quite simple. For type 1 error, it will be rejecting a true null hypothesis is type 1 error. RT1, 
Repeat this. RT1. Rejecting a true null hypothesis is type 1 error. And for type 2 error, accepting a false null hypothesis is type 2 error. AF2. Accepting a false null hypothesis is type 2 error. Okay? So when you use these two simple tricks, then it will not be confusing for you in the exam anymore. So let us solve questions by applying these two simple tricks. Okay? But before we do that, uh, there is something that you should know. The power of a test. What is the power of a test? The probability of correctly rejecting not incorrectly okay there will be no incorrect decision here this will be a correct decision what is that correct decision when you correctly reject a false null hypothesis then that is called the power of a test and it is represented by one minus beta okay so let's discuss the questions An investigator commits type 2 error when he or she rejects a null hypothesis when it is true, accepts a null hypothesis when it is false. Sorry, true. Accepts a null hypothesis when it is true, rejects a null hypothesis when it is false, accepts a null hypothesis when it is false. Okay, so remember the trick that I taught you. What is type 2 error? A, F. Okay, so let us apply this trick. Uh, well, uh, A will be out, C will be out. It will be either B or D. Okay, so it will be D. Accepting a false null hypothesis is type 2 error. So our answer will be D. It's very easy, right? Let's move on to the next question. Similarly here, you have to identify type 1 error. An investigator commits type 1 error in testing hypothesis when he or she accepts a null hypothesis when it is false, accepts a null hypothesis when it is true, uh, rejects a null hypothesis when it is false, rejects a null hypothesis when it is true. So just remember the mnemonic that I taught you. R T 1. Rejecting a true null hypothesis is type 1 error. Okay, so let us cross out B and uh, A. So our answer will be D. Rejecting a true null hypothesis is type 1 error. So with this, we have come to the end of this class. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you found this video useful, then please do not hesitate to leave a like. I need your likes more than ever. Thank you very much for understanding. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then please hit the subscribe button. And best of luck for the exam. Take care. Stay safe. Bye.